Hey guys, I have no idea how to start this video, so I guess I'm just gonna start it off by saying, hey there, I'm Shannon and I'm getting sober. So I know it's been quite some time since I've been on the internet. This hiatus was not as long as my usual ones, but I was so consistent before I left about a month, month and a half ago now, that um, I feel like I owe an explanation for completely up and ghosting you guys uh, for the most part. I know I put some things out on like Twitter and uh, Discord for my members to let them know that I wasn't going to be streaming or posting anymore, but I guess let's just put it all out there, shall we? There's been a lot of change. Um, there's been a lot of change in everyone's life around me. Uh, and especially in my own, and it's just, it's been a lot going on, and I felt like being on the internet while dealing with my own issues um, was not the right decision, so I decided to step away, kind of without saying anything, as I typically do. This time, I, there was there was just so much going on in my personal life. Um, I hit a rocky part of the road in my relationship, um, unfortunately, I had to put down Scooby, which was my first dog. Uh, that was about two weeks ago now. I haven't said anything about that on the internet, uh, but I try not get emotional while I think about it. I miss him so much. Uh, it, there's been a lot of grieving going on with that for me because um, obviously he was like my best friend for seven years and I feel like I lost him way too soon to what ultimately we think was cancer. To cope with that, I did a lot of drinking, unfortunately. I also have been getting back into my old profession, um, which made me sound like I was gonna say OnlyFans or something like that. I don't know why that came to mind, but no, it's not that. Uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I've been uh, bartending again, which um, is really fi fantastic for my financial situation, but unfortunately it can lead you to some really, really nasty habits. And those were some habits that I was falling into. I don't wanna go super in depth with, uh, you know, my personal struggles because obviously they're personal struggles, some of it should stay personal. Um, but I, the biggest issue with my drinking was not that I was waking up every morning and uh, craving a drink. I wasn't, I don't, I, uh, some people would argue, but I would say that I am not necessarily an alcoholic. That was not the issue. And this is, uh, this is all very weird to be putting out there on the internet, but part of uh, my reasoning for doing this is self-accountability. My issue with alcohol was definitely that I liked to binge drink. Um, once I got started, I could not stop. I was definitely a party animal that got out of hand, and um, I would say every other time that I did so, turned into a raging fucking bitch, uh, mostly to the people that were really close uh, around me, such as, uh, you know, my boyfriend or my best friends. Honestly, really, mainly just in my, my, my main relationship, my romantic relationship, I don't know why I do it. But then again, you know, my ultimate conclusion is I don't know why I drink in the first place, if that's the, uh, the outcome pretty much every other time, 50% of the time, I turn into a horrible person. So, and a horrible person is, is, I guess, subjective. I've never done anything truly awful while drinking. I just get really mean sometimes. And if you've ever been on the receiving end of that, I'm very fucking sorry. Um, it's been super embarrassing to wake up in the morning not remembering what I did the night before more times than I can count on my fingers and toes. That sentence didn't make any sense. I swear to god I'm sober right now. <laughs> that being said, um, I actually am over a month sober now.
I'll show you guys. I have a little app <laughs> tracking my sobriety because this is something I'm really committed to um, this time. I feel like it's something that finally had to be done, um, not only for the people in my personal life, but also for you guys, which I'll get into it in a second. Show you guys my my sobriety app. Just my, it's kind of just like my tangible proof that I'm doing this. My phone is a piece of shit. We're gonna have to replace this bad boy real shit, real fucking soon here. Um, as well as most of my streaming setup. We're redoing that as well um, in my time off, but back back to the point. Um, I am one month, two days, 22 hours, 23 minutes, and 54 seconds sober from alcohol. So woohoo me. I am actually really proud of myself and I know I'm sure a lot of you guys will be too. You've been some of the most supportive people in uh, my entire life's journey, so I'm sure this won't be any different. Um, but you guys were actually one of a bigger reason that I decided to stop drinking. Outside of my personal relationships, people closest to me in my everyday life, um, I feel like I was, I'm gonna try not to get emotional, but I feel like I was letting you guys down a lot. Um, because there were many days that I would not stream or skip my streams or skip what my filming that day uh, because I was fucking hungover or I decided to go out and drink instead of uh, fulfilling my priorities and you know the the craziest thing about it and maybe this is where some people could argue I do have uh, beyond just a binge drinking problem I f don't even like being drunk that much. Like, I actually have more fun on my fucking streams with you guys than I do going out and sitting at a bar and drinking. So, like, the fact that even though my enjoyment level of, you know, my enjoyment level of streaming and doing my YouTube work was higher than drinking, I still ended up drinking. And then the next day was fucked too because I felt like absolute dog shit. That, that's just a whole nother thing. I was just so goddamn tired of feeling hungover, like literally all the goddamn time. Um, it, it just, it feels, it feels terrible, man. I, I get violently sick. And sometimes by the end of that day, after throwing up many times, I'd be drinking again. And I, as I'm talking, like, <sighs> saying this to you guys is, uh, you know, it's really, this is an uncomfortable smile. This is really, uh, I don't, it's embarrassing, it's uncomfortable, um, but some of my biggest growth in life has been from talking to you guys. So ultimately, that's why I'm here. I wanted to confess to you guys, tell you that I've already been taking action in um, my self-love and self-healing and recovery journey. Um, and I am coming back better than ever, hopefully. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe I won't be as fun. Who fucking knows? Uh, I, I'm sure I will be. A at least I'll be here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at least I'll fucking show up. So, uh, be prepared. It's gonna take me a little while to get back into the swing of things, but I promise that ultimately, when I do, you're gonna get a better version of me, a more consistent, more entertaining, uh, just more me, me. Um, and I really do miss you guys, so this is my promise to you. It's mainly my promise to myself, but also to you guys that I am gonna stick to my fucking journey I am going to keep bettering myself and I am going to stay sober for, at this point, the plan is forever. I hope this little rambling um, wasn't the most garbage video in the world. Uh, I feel like I've forgotten how to do this. I've just fully been immersing myself in the real world, like almost completely offline compared to my usual life, so. That this is weird for me, the subject is really weird for me to be sharing with you, but I am excited. I am happy to be here. Um, this feels good. 
This was fun. <laughs> it was good seeing you. <laughs> I had a good time hanging out. Um, and I am really excited to hang out a lot more in the future because I can be present in my life in a way that I've never been able to before as an adult. So I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you guys are too. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I do already have another normal video filmed uh, after this coming out shortly. I think it should be out next week. Whenever the fuck I post this, it'll be out the week after that. Um, so I'm already, I'm about to edit it after I get off filming this. So it's a hair video. I'm about to change my, my hair, you know, mm -hmm, like I always do. I don't know why I said it like that, but I am. So look forward to that. Um, if you haven't unsubscribed, already. If you have, that's totally fine. I don't really give a fuck <laughs> at this point in my life. But if you're still subscribed, you are a real motherfucking OG, okay? And I love you guys. All of my Shan fam members, you mean the world to me. I know I have been uh, neglecting my duties and I'm very sorry for not uh, upholding the perks of your membership this past month. I promise that will be I'll be getting back on all my shit very soon. Um, just be patient with me if you plan on sticking around. Um, I'm doing my best. Like I said, I still have a, a lot going on and being sober is, I don't wanna say an everyday battle for me, like I know it could be for some people, um, but it's, you know, even if I wanna drink one day, I, every month that one day is a hard fucking day and I'm gonna have to keep overcoming those days as time goes on and I've already overcame a lot of them I feel like the hardest part's getting started so that's why I waited a month to make this video I wanted to make sure I could fucking do it and here we are baby so I'm excited to be back I'm gonna shut the fuck up now I want to keep talking to you guys but that's what streaming is for so can't give you a promise on when I'll be back um, to the live streams, but it should be very soon. So I miss the fuck out of you guys. I love you so much. Um, hope you have a great rest of your week. Happy holidays. And I'll see you next week with a normal ass video. Um, thanks again, guys. Love you. I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye.